Hey guys, in this video I'm going to smoke up some ribs on the Oklahoma Joe's Offset Smoker with three different styles of rub. The first rub is a Weber Kansas City style barbecue rub with very high salt content and not a lot of sugar in it. The second rub is a Meat Church rub with a moderate amount of sugar in it. And the third rub is a generic Carolina style rub from a local brewery that has lots of brown sugar in it. So we're going to test these three rubs and see which one comes out best. So stick around, you don't want to miss this one. Let's take a look at the three rubs I'll be comparing in this video. Each of these rubs has a really different flavor profile, so I'm hoping this comparison helps you select the best rub for your next cook. The Weber KC rub. This rub is made by Weber, and it comes in a little puck-shaped container. The first ingredient listed on the label is sugar, but it's actually pretty salty, and it has a spicy kick with a lot of chili powder in it. This is the saltiest and probably least sweet rub of all the rubs I'm comparing in this video. The Meat Church Honey Hog Barbecue Rub. This is a really sugary rub from the guys at Meat Church Barbecue. You can find their rub in retail stores, or actually order it online on their website. They're pretty popular, and they make good rubs. This rub has a balance of salt and sugar. It's more sugary than the Weber KC rub, but it's less sugary than the other rub I'm going to be comparing. Carolina Style Rub by Farmery Estate Brewery. Now this is an interesting one. These guys are based out of a Canadian province called Manitoba. This rub is a promo rub to promote their beer, so I don't think it's commercially available to distribute outside of Manitoba. I don't even know if it's being made anymore, but I could be wrong. It's very brown sugar heavy, and this is the rub with the most sugar out of all three rubs that I'm testing. To be honest, this was kind of a random addition to the video because I wanted to test rubs that everyone could easily buy commercially, but I thought I'd give this a try anyway because it had a lot of brown sugar in it and I wanted to contrast it to the other rubs. It actually really surprised me, but more on that later. Before applying the rub, I put down some yellow mustard on the ribs as a binder. All of the rubs went on really easily and I let them sit for about 20 minutes to dry brine. The Carolina style rub looked a bit patchy because the brown sugar was really clumping together. The KC rub had a nice red color, but the Meat Church rub probably looked the nicest. It really pulled a lot of moisture from the ribs and dissolved all the spices evenly over the surface. So for appearance and the ability to dry brine the meat, the Honey Hog Meat Church rub probably was the best at doing that. Next up, I put them on the Oklahoma Joe's offset smoker at 225 degrees Fahrenheit. I had some hickory wood burning over the charcoals in the firebox. These ribs cooked for about two and a half hours until they reached 165 degrees internal temperature between the bones. At that point, I took them off and laid down some Stubbs barbecue sauce on all three of them. And then I put them back in the smoker for 20 minutes uncovered to let the sauce set. Then they came off and I wrapped them in butcher's paper. I cooked them for about another two hours wrapped until the internal temperature came up to 195 to 205. And then I took them off and let them rest for 30 minutes in a warm cooler. Removing them from the butcher paper, there wasn't much difference in terms of appearance. The Carolina style rub was a bit browner, while the KC rub and Meat Church rub had a bit of a redder color, and they were a bit more attractive for that reason. The KC rub was good, but it was a little too much on the salty side for my taste, and it was hard to pick out the sugar content. If you like savory ribs, but you're not a fan of sugar on your meat, definitely go with this rub. The Meat Church rub was really good as well. It had a better balance of salt and sweet, I would recommend the Meat Church Honey Hog Barbecue Rub if you want something that people say, oh wow, that's really good, but they don't necessarily immediately notice the high sugar content. The Carolina Style Rub by Farmhouse Brewery actually surprised me because it was the least commercialized rub out of these three, but it was probably my favorite. It had a huge amount of brown sugar flavor that I'm used to tasting from barbecue competitions, so that's probably the reason it appealed to me so much. So if you guys find this rub, or if you find a similar rub with a heavy dose of brown sugar in it, I would definitely pick it up and try it out. I found this kind of sweet rub is a really big hit at parties and big get-togethers because there's usually a lot of food around and people are drinking, so something with a big sugary kick is usually a big hit. But that being said, sometimes when I'm barbecuing just for myself, I like to lay off the sugar a little bit and go with just salt, pepper, chili powder, like the Weber KC style rub. Well, I hope that comparison helped you guys select the best rub for your next cook. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button so you can get notified on all my latest videos. It really helps my channel out and it helps me produce more great content for you guys. So thanks again for watching. Happy smoking.